Hi everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama. It's Five Ways Wednesday, and today I'm going to be showing you five of my favorite ways to use accessories as purses. I feel like, especially if you came from the Jujube world, probably if you found my channel, it had something to do with Jujube. They have so many awesome accessories and their product line extensions just keep coming out. So they keep having really, really cool new accessories. It seems like more often than they do new bags, and I, I kind of love that. Um, but you spend your money on those things and it seems like they always end up going inside your bag, like a B-set goes inside of your diaper bag, or it feels like that thing is really niche and you can only use it for certain things, like, oh, the Be Cool is just for snacks and food, or the Mini BFF really should just be for kids, or whatever that may be. I wanna show you today that so many of these little accessories can make fantastic purses. So I'm gonna be showing you how each one of them pack up as a purse. I have a few things that I'm going to be putting in each of them to kind of show you what will fit in which ones. This one is going to sort of piggyback off of my Monday video, which was all about the Jujube Be Hippie. I'm gonna be showing you the Be Hippie as part of today's video, but it's not going to be as in depth as the Monday video. So if you want to see more about the Be Hippie, I will link that down in the description box below and I will put an iCard up here as well. So today I'm going to be showing you how a few of my favorite things fit inside of here. These are just the things that I'm usually carrying with me if I have my purse. So those include my wallet, sunglasses, AirPods, my phone, pens, snacks, reusable straw, and feminine products. So I'm just gonna pull out each one of these bags. I'll put timestamps down below so that you can jump around if you want to, to whatever is most relevant to you. And with that said, let's just go ahead and get started. The first way I'm gonna show you is with the Jujube large set piece. When you buy a B set from Jujube, you actually get three pieces, a large, medium, and small. I'm also gonna be showing you the medium size in this video, but I think this is just such a really cute way to carry a purse using a Jujube bag. Now, some may say like, and you'll see in a minute when I open this up. Some may say that a Jujube Be Quick would be better because it comes with an internal zipper for just having like more organization on the inside. Me personally, I find the Quick to be just a little bit bigger than what I need for a purse. So even though it does have an internal zipper, which I appreciate, it doesn't, it, it just, it feels too big to me for my needs just as a purse, especially if I'm trying to go for like a cute kind of smaller look. So that's why I'm choosing the large set piece for this, but just know that the Quick is a little bit bigger than this. So if you see this and say, I would need something slightly larger, the Quick would be a great choice too. So I was able to fit everything that I mentioned to you earlier in here, but one thing to note is that because there's no internal organization, it's literally like everything is just stuck down in there. But I will say it still looks really nice. It's not overly crowded. The only thing is, it's just you kind of have to stack vertically to make everything work. So I was able to get in the sunglasses sitting right on top. You can't fit like a, it would be very hard to fit a case in here. So that's something to think about. Both of the pins sitting kind of on top there. My two snack bars. A couple of feminine products. And then here's how I had the rest of it set up. Let's turn around this way. So I kind of, I love how that looks. Like if you don't carry around any of that other stuff that I had in there, this works perfectly because tucked down over on the side, I have my uh, straw and my AirPods. And then left in there is my wallet and my phone. Now, what I think is really cool about the large set piece is that it does come with a long strap and a short strap, and now your long strap is adjustable, which is really cool. This means that if I want to, I can put it on a short level and wear it kind of over the shoulder like this. This is on the shortest setting. And just so you know, I'm about 5'5". Five five, so this is where the shortest setting falls on me, which I think is a really great drop length for a purse. It won't go any shorter than that, but it will go longer, and in which case I can wear it crossbody. Um, now I don't have it all the way down to the longest length, so let's do that. Okay, so at its longest length on someone who's 5'5", five five, it hits right about at hip level. So it makes for a pretty cute purse if you're wanting to wear it that way. But the other thing that's cool is that you do get a short strap with this as well. So if you're really wanting to go for that shorter look, the right under the arm look, or carrying it in your elbow, this could work for that. It goes right in there. Now I'm a little on the petite side and it even then is a little bit tight uh, on my arm, but I love carrying it this way when I have the short strap on. The other way to do it, of course, is to make it just like the Jujube Be Quick, which comes with um, a wristlet on the side, so you can carry it like this as well. 
However way you do it, it looks really cute as a purse and works pretty well in my opinion. The second way I wanna show you is with the medium set piece. I still have my sticker on here. Um, and just as a point of comparison, I'm gonna show you how much of that stuff from the large piece will fit in here. Definitely when I'm carrying the middle piece, I like to use it more as a wristlet. It just seems, it's like got a daintier size to it. It just seems to work a little bit better. I would not usually try to wear this crossbody or over the shoulder because given how small this is, it just looks a little absurd in my opinion when I wear it that way. So let's see how much we can fit in here. If you're someone who's just really trying to go minimal, how much of this stuff would go? Okay, so I can get my wallet in there. This is the Limea brand Gabby wallet. Um, it's good to know that it fits in there. However, I, if I were doing this, I would probably just carry like a Jujube be charged or something like that doesn't take up all this space. But let's just go with it for now. Um, I can also get my phone in here, but already I'm running out of space. You know, my um, wristlet here is sort of getting in my way. I could actually take that off, and if I wanted to spruce this up a little bit, put my wallet inside of the medium piece, take this off of the Limey brand wallet so that I have more space inside of here, and then attach this to the medium set piece. I had not thought of that before, but that actually, oh my gosh, look at how cute that looks. <laughs> I love that. Okay, that is definitely how I'll be doing that from now on because that is super cute. Anyway, let's get back to what all we can fit in here. So I've got my phone and my wallet in here and I'm not going to get much else. Um, I can get my reusable straw. I think my AirPods will fit in there. Not really. In this case, I would probably choose to take my AirPods and not my straw. So wallet, phone, and AirPods in there. I can also get a pen if I want to, and if it was that time of the month, I could also get a tampon in there. And that's really just about it. So the things that I was not able to get in here that I had in the large piece was the extra pen, I had a few tampons that I didn't put in there, my snack bars, and my sunglasses. The next one is the mini BFF, and I'll be honest, I did not understand all the rage about this bag when it first came out. Um, I just, I didn't get it. Then I got my hands on one and I totally see why everyone likes it so much. It's cute, it's functional, it actually looks adorable on the body. Yes, even on a grown up, I will show you in a second. Um, and it's just so cute. And it holds a ton too, I'm gonna show you now. Um, so here in the mini BFF, I can start by putting my straw in there and I can also tuck my AirPods in this front pocket as well. That's a super cute little, very accessible spot for those two things. But I think just for fun, I'm gonna slip my phone back here. Does it fit? Look at that. That is an iPhone 11 Pro, and that fits back there really nicely, which I love. So that's the only two external sort of features of this bag, so let's move on to the inside. As you can see, it's got a super cute little setup there. So let's see if my wallet fits in here. Hmm. The Gabby wallet is just a little too wide for that. So I think in that case, what I would probably do is move everything out of my wallet and put it into a coin purse. And I'm thinking I'm gonna slip it back here. That actually looks really cute back there and it's like this little pocket was made for that. All right, so I've got my wallet back there. Um, you know what, actually though, I think it might make more sense to put my feminine products back here. Are these big enough? That actually works really nicely. That way they're kind of out of the way. Since I tend to have them in there just in case I'm caught off guard, I guess it's kind of nice to have them there and not right where I'm trying to get to my stuff. So I'm just gonna place my coin purse right down here in the front. I like how when this opens up, it sort of just like pops the coin purse down right there. That's cute. I can get my snacks in here as well. Always important to have. Do pins sit upright? Ooh, look at that. They'll fall over, but that's kind of cool. Just to give you an idea of how tall this bag is, I actually did it off camera because I needed both hands, but look at this. I have the pins just tucked inside of the mesh here, so they'll stay. Um, and really, all I had left was my sunglasses, which I can fit right here on the top. Oh, oh, look at how cute that is. That just packs up so cute. So I do have everything in here that I had in my large set piece, right? I'm not missing anything. Yeah, so it holds the exact same amount as a large set piece, and in my opinion, it holds it a little bit better. Now, here's what's cute about this. It does come with a strap that looks like this, 
It can be made into a backpack, um, but I do not use it that way because I find it frustrating. I've seen lots of people use it that way and make it work, but it just does not work well for me. So I've got this on the shortest setting, and here's what it looks like on me over the shoulder. That's not my favorite look. Um, I don't really feel that it, it, I don't know, it just doesn't really complement my shape well when I have it like that. But I do like it crossbody, and I'll show you how to make it into a fanny pack too. So I feel like this looks weird because I have on sort of a fancy shirt, but if I have on like a t-shirt, I'm going for a cute look on any given day. I just think this looks absolutely adorable like that. And everything is right here at my fingertips, easily accessible. It just works. But the other thing you can do is wear it kind of like a fanny pack. I find that the mini helix works better as a fanny pack, to be honest, if you're trying to make a fanny pack out of something that's not a fanny pack. Again, I'm five foot five. I wear about a five to a size six jeans. And even on the smallest setting, this is a little bit long for me. But the good news is that means there is a lot of length to play with here where you could probably make this work really cute as a fanny pack as well. And then of course, if you have a strap that you know works on you and fits your waist a little bit better, you could do that too because I just think that is the cutest look. Okay, you guys might laugh and say, Amber, what on earth are you thinking? Wait till I show you how this is packed up. The Be Cool has become one of my favorite things from Jujubee. I take mine to work with me every single day, but it occurred to me that it actually has some really cool design features to make it awesome as a purse, if you don't mind that it has an unconventional shape to it. So in the front, I was able to put my straw and my AirPods. There's just this really nice little flap. You would have to be careful. Um, if I'm gonna put my AirPods in there, I'm going to be very, very certain that I'm never gonna turn this upside down or anything because there's nothing keeping that in there. So just something to think about. Maybe this would be a better place to stick feminine products or something if, you're, if it's that time of the month and you know you're gonna be grabbing for it often, but just something to point out. What's really cool about this is actually how it packs up on the inside because it's just pretty genius. It's got so much room in here that I was actually able to put more stuff than I had like for my large set piece as an example. So what I think is the coolest thing is right here. I've got my Limea brand bamboo case sitting in there with my sunglasses going right into it, which means that I can take my glasses on and off and have a nice, safe, protected bamboo case in there to keep them safe. And as you can see down in there, I've also got my Gabby wallet. I threw a coin purse in there as well, just because I had extra space, so why not? My pins, my snacks, my phone, it's all there and it all packs up really cute. What's neat about the Be Cool is that it also comes with a strap so you can wear it over the shoulder if you want to, like I have it here. Or once again, you can lengthen it and wear it crossbody. However, I find that there's not a lot of length to this. So if you're very busty or if you're taller than I am, you're going to have a little bit of trouble wearing this one crossbody because it does, it's just that strap is not very long. The last thing I'm going to show you today is the Jujube Be Hippie. I'm not going to spend as much time on it because I did do a full video on this on Monday, but I just want to show you how everything fits in here. I decided to put my snacks in the front zipper pocket because this is a little bit bigger than the pocket on the mini BFF and things just seem to fit better when I put these in the front pocket. In the back pocket, I have my phone. It's just the perfect little spot for that. And then here on the inside, um, you can fit a long wallet like the Gabby wallet from Limea brand, but uh, to me, it didn't fit great in there. It just felt too bulky and clunky. So instead I went with a coin purse, but I have my sunglasses in there, a coin purse packed up as a wallet. And then there, you. Re this is my one complaint about uh, the the be hippie as a purse is that there's not a lot of space in this main compartment. So just note that. But in this side pocket is where I put my AirPods and my straw. In this top pocket, I have tampons, and I meant to put pins in there, but I didn't. So that would also be a great place for pins. Um, I've shown this on the body in my other video, but just so that you don't have to pop back and forth, let me just sort of like, I'm not gonna loop it through my belt loops, but let me just show you what it looks like on the body. Now again, I feel dressed not well for this video. I feel like I should have had on something a little bit more casual, but this is what it looks like on the hip. I just think it sits really cute, it fits really cute, and it works great as a purse because everything that you need is right there at your fingertips. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you found it useful and helpful, gave you some ideas, maybe how you could use some of these things that you've already purchased in a different and fun way, um, or maybe it 
showed you that you need to purchase some of these things. I don't know. We do have a whole bunch of Jujube stuff back in stock. We have restocked the Wonder Woman print, and we also made sure to stock up on the Monarch print and the Blackout print, as well as the Social Butterfly print from Jujube because those have been really hot sellers as well. So if you're looking for some of these things, check them out at thesensiblemama.com. Love you. Mean it. Always. Mwah. And I'll see you in the next one.